It's your girl, Miss Tiffany. And I'm back again. I missed you guys so much. I missed last week. I missed posting last week, but it was my birthday weekend and I was in Florida. But I am back. I missed you guys so much. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification button before you go further into this video because I will be posting once. I'll probably be posting like every Saturday or Sunday, but I'm posting this today, October 15th, because it is pregnancy and stillborn birth, stillborn birth awareness. And I, myself is someone who's experienced multiple miscarriages. I also lost my daughter, Sanaili, rest in peace. I miss you and I love you. Um, at five months pregnant, I went into preterm labor. So let's get into this video. I'm gonna tell you guys a few things about myself that I've never shared with anyone besides people who knew me personally and knew my situation. Um, so when I met my fiance, maybe like a few months in, um, I ended up getting pregnant. I got pregnant. I was so excited. We went and we told my parents. Everything was cool. It was lovely. I started bleeding and um, I didn't know why, but I know that bleeding was not good. So I went to the hospital and they informed me that they didn't see anything, um, but I was probably early. They didn't see anything. They took a pregnancy test. It was negative. So they probably, they said that I probably experienced a miscarriage. I was sad. Um, I left it alone. We left it alone. And we were just like, you know what? God has his reasons for everything. We're just going to leave it alone. And, you know, just continue with our lives and enjoy each other. So after that first loss, I didn't think anything of it. I was just like, you know, maybe it wasn't time. Maybe, you know, I was just stressed or whatever the case may be is. And I left it alone. After that first pregnancy things turned horrible for me from pregnant i've got pregnant with the same man and i lost eight babies i was getting pregnant every three months we didn't try anything it was just like listen jamaican thing thing ugh, them things be connecting the dots you feel me <laughs> they they get in you it's just like bloop you're pregnant anyways that's besides the point but um yeah so from pregnancy one to pregnancy seven, it was just like I was just losing it. But every time I took a pregnancy test, it would come back positive. And then after, um, I would just bleed like literally maybe a week after, two days after. And I was just like, what? Pregnancy eight is when shit got real for me. I took a pregnancy test. Everything was lovely. I went to, I actually was working um, in a medical field where I was like right next to the OBGYN. So I, you know, spoke with her. I told her my problems and stuff like that. And she was like, okay, you know, we'll, you know, do things and see what's going on. I went in, she did, and she found out that I was eight weeks pregnant. I was so 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 excited like god finally i reached eight weeks with no problem thank you lord i started to bleed and i went to the hospital because you know work was closed at this time it was nighttime my mom came with me and i was bleeding and at the hospital it was just like i guess because of miscarriage and they feel like, okay, you know, you're bleeding already. If you miscarry, you miscarry. There's nothing that they can do. They have no concerns, no sympathy or nothing for you in the hospitals when it comes to miscarriages. And like, it really sucks. Unless like, you're like far gone in the pregnancy. Yeah, other than that, they can give a shit about you. And it sucks. I went in, they did everything and they were like, you know, Everything looks fine. The baby's still there. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, she knows, she's like, you know, you're probably bleeding. You're probably just having like your last period, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay. You know, usually I know when I'm bleeding, that's not a good sign. Like, I'm high. They sent me home. I went home. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I went now. They're like, you know, you have to go in for your doctor's appointment coming up or whatever, whatever. I went to my doctor's appointment. 
I actually before when I came back from the hospital is like I stopped bleeding so I was like okay everything is great they were right it was probably just my period or whatever like you know the ending of it where my body gets back into the pregnancy mode whatever I went to my doctors excited like oh my god I get to see my baby like OMG <laughs> guys 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 no I told my fiance hold on I had to pee I went to the bathroom, I wiped, and what did I see? Blood. I went back to him and I'm like, Sanjay, I'm bleeding. He goes, it's all right, you know, we're just gonna, he's so positive. He was so positive in this whole process of this pregnancy stuff that I went through, this infertility stuff, like it's no joke. And your partner has to be just as strong as you because the amount of weakness us women seek when it comes to that, that I think nobody who's never experienced it would never, ever understand the pain that we go through. And till this day, it never leaves, you know? So I went, they did the sonogram, they did the ultrasound, and the nurse goes, um, hold on one second. So I'm like, okay. I see her walk out the room and then she goes, she comes back in and she goes, the doctor wants to speak with you. Um, so, you know, we're going to wrap this up and then we'll go to her office. So I'm like, is it something bad? She goes, well, no, I can't really address it. The doctor will talk to you. Now, when we went um, in the room, she informed, she informed me that, Miss Henry, you're having a miscarriage debate. You know, your cervix opened and the baby seems to be tumbling out and that's why you're experiencing the bleeding so i'm like what are you talking about she goes yes i'm sorry to say this but you know there's nothing that we can do um but run tests i'm tired of running tests at this point because i've had somebody tell me that i was healthy everything was fine fuck a test you know excuse my language but like that's where i was at at this point and um i just lost faith i lost faith and you know, I was just like, God, like, why is this happening to me? Like, what have I ever done wrong for me to experience this? There's people in this world that get pregnant from left to right and have thousands of babies and throw them in garbages and all type of stuff. And me who wants a kid can't have a kid. Like, what is wrong with me? Like, and then my husband wanted a kid and I'm like, will he ever marry me? Will he want to be with me? Like, I can't give him a kid i can't give him the one thing that women do for men is give them a child and i can't do that what kind of woman am i you know all these thoughts just went through my head and it was just like what 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 is wrong with me like why why me i never would have thought a million years that i would experience eight miscarriages back to back anyways she gave me these two pills to insert inside of me that will allow me to go in and get contractions because she said she wasn't going to do a DNC on me that, you know, she wants the baby just to come out on its own. I went home. I took a shower. I did that. I elevated my foot and I fell asleep. She told me that I would start getting contractions in like two hours from my do that. I didn't really feel anything. And oh my God. Oh my God, I woke up out of my sleep with contractions, like worsted periods, like times a hundred. And I was just like, what the hell is going on? And he's sleeping, I'm at his house and you know, usually I call for my mom and I just start experiencing this and I'm like, uh-uh, I gotta use the bathroom. I went to the bathroom gushing of blood and this is going to be overrated so if you don't want to watch this just come off of it i'm completely fine gushing blood like just like i lost so much blood that day it was scary and i'm a type of person that i don't want nobody else to you know i don't want my husband to feel bad and feel no way like you know I know that a lot of men, they hide their pain and they don't know how to express it. And so now after that eighth pregnancy, um, my OBGYN said that she just wanted to do a sonogram on me just to see if I had like any fibroids or pileups or anything of that sort. So I was just like, okay, cool. So I went in and um, 
the nurse said that she has to take a pregnancy test. So we looked at each other and I was like, what if the pregnancy test I said it was positive? And she was just like, what if it did? So when I did, it came out positive. But I knew, I was just like, I'm not pregnant. She goes, no, Tiffany, you sure? And I was like, I'm positive that I'm not pregnant. I was taking this thing called ACG drops that you take 10 drops under your tongue. You eat 500 calories and you're supposed to lose weight, which worked because it's 500 calories. But HCG pregnancy levels, blood levels goes hand in hand. It's supposed to make your body think that you're pregnant you, and you're not eating enough so it feeds the fat off of your body to feel, feed the imaginary baby. No, that's she's like, when's the last time you took it? I was like, maybe like two weeks ago. So she goes, okay, fine. We go with the process. Um, she sends me to like another fertility, like another specialist to get the sonogram done. When I get the sonogram done, there's like catheters and everything and they check and they're like, oh, you know, you have two small pileups and we need to get to have surgery just to remove them to see if maybe that's the cause of you having miscarriages. So I was like, OK, cool. I went to Florida of 2017 and I wasn't really feeling good, not feeling myself, but girls and guys, I was living my best life that time. Um, you know, my husband and I, we just had really like fun. I was drinking, enjoying it, but I was having, I was being, I was sick at the same time and didn't really know why. I just thought I was just like a virus going around and stuff. And, um, I took a picture, I took the picture and I poked out my stomach and I was just like, oh, this is how I would look if I was pregnant. <laughs> I'm just joking. And um, I'm going to actually insert the picture that I saw that I'm talking about right somewhere around. Probably. And I came back from Florida and I was just like, okay, now it's time for this surgery. My mom came with me. My husband had to work. And I was just like, you know, I wish I was coming in here for something different. My mom and I were in there talking as I was undressing, putting on the gown and stuff, ready to take my, you know, get the surgery done. And we, I know she was just like, you know, she was my biggest supporter. And I love my mom. I love her so much for just always sticking by my side and being there for me because this wasn't easy. I don't know how would I have done it without her because she was always by my side. So, mom... I love you so much. You mean the world to me. And I thank you every second and every day for always being by my side through this process. Because if nobody else know, you were right there to witness everything that I've been through. Sorry, guys. I just told myself that I wasn't going to cry. But whatever. You guys are getting this raw and personal right now. And, um... We just was like, whatever, the guy, the anesthesiologist came in and was like, you know, we have to do a P-test or whatever. So I'm like, okay, I did the P-test and he was just like, miss, it's coming back that you're pregnant. And I was like, no, I'm not pregnant. Like, you know, I did the ACG, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I told him that whole story and my OBGYN came in and was like, we're going to do a blood test just to make sure. So I was like, okay, fine. They went and so they my... They came back and she goes, Tiffany, your ACG level is extremely high. So I'm like, what are you talking about? She goes, you, do you work tomorrow? And I'm like, yeah. She goes, well, I need you to come in and take this. Um, I'm gonna do an ultra. I'm gonna do an ultrasound on you. So I'm like, oh, God, don't tell me this again. So I was just like hysterically crying, like crying, crying, getting dressed, crying, like why I can't get this surgery done. I'm like, can you just do a DNC on me? And she goes, no, we can't do it because the levels are too high. So I'm like going out there crying. And it's just like as I'm walking down the like the hall, all the nurses, like everybody was staring at me like the hall. Like, you know, like when you do something in class and like everybody is just in the hall staring at you like, oh, my God, she got caught in the staircase doing nasty, you know, like it was just like that kind of feeling. And I was just, I couldn't process this. So my mom and I are now at the hospital, but like in the lunch part, because they gave me like a free voucher to eat. I guess that was their way of saying like, we're sorry that we can't do the surgery. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. But I, as I'm eating, I'm crying. And my mom is like, Tiffany, why are you crying? Like, because I was just like, I can't go through this again. Like, God, enough is enough. No more. No more. No more. 
whatever. My brother picks me up, picks picks us up, and um, I go the next day to her office. I'm talking to my friend Nella, my coworker Nella, who I love so much and I miss. Um, we talking and she goes, how did the surgery go? And I'm like, Nella, I did not get it. She goes, why? I was like, because it says that I'm pregnant. It's, she said that I'm pregnant. She goes, what? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to so get a son. The nurse finally calls my name and I'm like, she's like, good luck or whatever. So I'm like, okay. I go in, I lay down. She talks to me. She's like, yesterday was crazy. And I'm like, I know, I can't believe this. She then inserts, you know, does everything. And we look on the screen and what do I, what do we find? What do we see? God work in some mysterious ways, you hear me? And if you guys, those who believe in God, faith is the things hoped for, evidence not seen. Because when I tell you, God is a miracle worker, and sometimes things that we pray for may not come when we want them to. Anyways, let me not get into it, because I will bring church to you guys right now. We looked, and lo and behold, there was a baby, a full baby, 10 fingers, 10 toes, head, body, and everything on that screen. And I looked at her, and I was like, um, what is that? She goes, Miss Henry, that's your baby. I was like, excuse me? What? How far am I? She's like, you're 15 weeks pregnant. 15 weeks? I've, ne I've never went past 15 weeks. I've, I've never went past eight. Like, what? No blood? No nothing? I'm getting out of my first trimester? Healthy? What? God, what? How did I not know I was pregnant? Because I knew I was pregnant every other time. This time, I had no idea that I was pregnant. When I was in Florida, sick, taking pictures, thinking, like, yeah, I was pregnant and had no clue I was pregnant. And um, then after that, I, I I got a little nervous, but I just I just prayed. I prayed, and it was just like, what my mom when, when my mom went to Arizona and what my cousin said that in 2017 I would be pregnant and I would have a boy so I'm just like oh my god like I'm pregnant she was so right and um I had a gender reveal they told me it was a girl I went maybe like two days after my gender reveal party. Nice, beautiful party with lovely people. I, I was so much fun. And um, I thought it was a girl. I was buying things and stuff like that. Nella knows because I was always at work looking at girl things and buying things like unisex colors. And she's like, do not buy anything. And I'm like, Nella, please let me buy something. But then, you know, like it was just kind of like I knew that I, I knew that I had those miscarriages and stuff. But this one... I was just going to hold the faith and say, you know, everything happens for a reason. If it's meant to be, it's going to be no matter what I do, no matter how calm I try to be. But I was always happy. I was happy. I was glowing. Everything just was great. And um, I had I had a lot of scares. I, I scared my husband and my mom a lot when it came to this baby. And, you know, so I, I figured like, you know, maybe... God didn't want me to find out because he wanted me to go past the crucial times of the first trimester. And if I knew ahead of time, I might have had a miscarriage because I would have been stressing and, you know, just so nervous. And he allowed me to get to my second trimester smoothly, smoothly. Like that was the best pregnancy until further in than my son. Really Two days did. later, I go in and they're like... um, no, she does the she does the ultrasound and we look at the baby and stuff and I'm like, oh my gosh, she has her father's nose. So the nurse looks at me because I went to like a, a fertility place, like not a fertility place, but the like, 3D um sonogram place and they can tell you at like early stage because 20 weeks is the proper time that you're supposed to go. I think I went to them at like 16 and they told me that they can tell and they was like, You're having a girl, whatever, whatever. And um when I went to my actual doctor's appointment at 20 weeks, 
she goes she goes how do you know that you're having a girl i was like well because i went to this facility place and blah 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 paid money whatever whatever and she goes okay so i'm like what, do you, what does she mean oh okay so she goes between the legs and i look and i'm like oh that's so probably that's probably the umbilical cord she goes um miss henry i have something to tell you i'm like what she goes you're having a boy i cried i mean she looked at me kind of like scared like what the hell is going on i cried because i'm like these people told me i was having a girl i bought all this girl stuff like what the hell this pregnancy is driving me nuts first i didn't know i was pregnant now i thought i was having a girl now i'm having a boy i had to post it all on instagram like guys it's gonna be a boy i had this huge party everybody like you know um my his godmother got me like a cake and everything like it was insane and I was just like, what the hell? What is going on right now? My son made me blind. He turned my fingernails black. 35 weeks and on, it was like the worst thing ever. But then it got better. Um, yeah, I was pregnant with the so boy. I remember, I told you, my mom went to Arizona. My cousin told her that I would be pregnant in 2017 with a baby boy. 2017. Sorry, my son is talking right now. But April 28th, 2017, I gave birth to a healthy, handsome <laughs> baby boy. Six pounds, six ounces, named SJ Sanjay Jr. Come here. Come here. Come on the bed. Come here, look. And this is my baby boy. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> that is my baby boy who I brought into this world. Da, da, da. And I am just so da, 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 happy da, da, da. <laughs> and overwhelmed with joy. I don't know how. or Like, I don't know how she knew, but she was dead on. Like. It, it scares me sometimes, but it's just like, God, thank you. Thank you for showing someone else to, to sh tell me that this is what's, this is, this is going to happen to me. I am the proudest mother ever. And that's why I say to you women, don't ever lose faith. Don't ever lose hope. Pray. Talk positivity. Your mouth mommy, is something. Mommy. Hold on, baby. Wait. Your mm. what mommy. you speak into the atmosphere mommy. comes to life. Mm -hmm. so, sorry. Oh. So you have yeah. to watch yeah, what you say. Mommy. Always talk yeah, positivity mommy. in your life. And then after this pregnancy, a year yeah. later, I found out that I was pregnant again, and I was. Actually, it was in the hospital because I got hurt on a carousel, flew off. Don't ask me how that happened. But um, twist my ankle, and we went to the hospital, my fiancé and I. Couldn't walk, and, you know, they did the P-test, and they told me that I was pregnant. So I'm like, wait, what? Pregnant? They did an ultrasound on me, and... Um, actually, no, they didn't do an ultrasound on me. I went to my OBGYN, and... Um, you know, she was like pregnant. Oh my God, again. And she did it. And I was 10 weeks pregnant. Everything was fine and stuff. And, um, you know, everything was great. I started a new job. I started a new job and, um, I got really sick. Like, weird. I would get really, I was at my desk and I would start, like my body would freeze and I would just feel this shivering. And non-stop shivering. Like, it's like somebody just threw me in an ice, like in a, in a freezer. And I could not stop shaking that. Sometimes, like, the employees, because I, I started the job and I was new there. And they would just look at me like, what is going on? And then I would get a fever. And it was hot outside, you know? And I would get a fever of, like, 104. And this would happen periodically. But often, like, it was just like, what the hell is going on with me? Every time I went to the hospital, everything was fine. The baby was good and everything like that. Um, 
then um one day i just wasn't feeling really good and you know they was like you know you need to go home you need to go to the hospital which i didn't go to the hospital i just went home and just tried to sleep it off and stuff and um, i was in my bed sleeping and i called my mom got up out my bed and i was just feeling these pains in my back like sharp pains in my back and um told my mom i'm not really feeling good i went in the shower i checked and blood was just coming down and i was just like mom it's happening again she's like what do you mean it's happening again tiffany stop um i ended up going to the hospital i didn't tell my fiance i didn't tell my mom nothing i just picked up went in a cab and left i didn't drive nothing i just went in the cab and left nobody knew anything and you know everybody was calling me and i was ignoring it because i said god if if i if i if i have another miscarriage i just want to do it alone i i was just over it you know it's like i have my son i'm happy with my son my son voids any pain that i've ever been through but this time it was just like i can't do this again and i don't want nobody there for me i don't want nobody to feel sorry for me i don't want so as i'm in the hospital the blood stops it's just like spotting at this time um, but I'm still having like little pains here and there. So they told me that they're gonna um put give me um antibiotics because they said that I had a UTI, urinary tract infection, that might be the reason why I asked to, you know, why I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling. You know, and I just thought like, you know, you can cure that on your own, drink some cranberry juice because I never really had a UTI, so you know, I didn't really think anything of it or that it would be such so serious. Um, my friend texts me and she goes, where are you? And I'm like, I'm in the hospital. She goes, I'm coming. And I'm like, no, it's okay. It's fine. I'm good. She goes, no, I'm coming. Who are you with? And I'm like, I'm by myself. She goes, Tiffany, what? I'm coming. Send me the address. And I'm like, no, I just want to do this alone. She goes, no. I gave in and I gave her the address and she came she came and I'm so happy that she did because shit got real she got so real at this time they admitted me in the hospital just to um monitor me and make sure that everything was fine and I'm in the hospital like she's in the room with me and um I'm feeling contractions, like crazy contractions back to back. She's like, what's going on? And I'm like, I'm feeling contractions. I I, I felt like I wanted to sleep, so I told her that I'm going to rest. Uh, she stood by my side the entire time. And um, I just felt this burst. I didn't feel like what what like what it feels like when your water breaks cuz you know I got I was I had a C-section with my son so she broke the doctor broke my 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 um my water but this time this was different. I felt this burst and I just put my hand down there just to see if it was water. I looked and what did I see? Blood, 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 blood. And I looked at her and I was like I think I'm having a miscarriage. And she was just like, "What?" I was like, so she goes and calls the, the doctor. They come in. She stepped out and they did the, um, uh, they used the clams, which I fucking hate. And they did it. And I was in so much pain, screaming, like, ah. Uh. And um, they were like, yeah, your cervix is opening and you're going to have to push. So I'm like, whoa, slow your roll. You can't just do a DNC on me. They go, no. And I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, I feel like I have to poop. They go, no, it's not that you have to poop, but the baby is coming. And I'm like, no, I have to poop. I have to poop. And they're like, no, we don't want you. They're like, no, we don't want you to go to the toilet and, you know, try to poop. And then the baby, you know, comes out or, you know, you're pushing and the baby's in the toilet. So they're like, you would have to do it in the bed. And I'm like, I am not shitting on myself in no bed. You crazy? So... Um, I told her, I was just like, let them leave. I told my friend, I was like, let them leave. And, um, you know, I'm going to act like I have to pee and I'm going to be pushing at the same time. So she was like, okay. So they gave me like a little chimney. Sorry thing. guys, I meant to say chimney. Like, like, I really felt, like, 
I a little really panda that you I had to pee and use the know? bathroom. I, I call it and a chimney. And I just kept, I was like, chimney. you know, I, I eventually, I guess I didn't have to. And they were right. And I was just like, you know, while everybody's gone, I'm going to just push on my own. And as I was just pushing and pushing and pushing, I pushed so hard and boop. So I called the doctor in the room. They came in the room just to check, and they were like, yeah, um, the baby nope. came. So I'm like, oh, wow. So my friend is there, and I look at her, and I'm just crying and crying. And um, I was like, well, can I see the baby? They go, yeah. So, you know, they did whatever, cleaned the baby off and stuff, and um cut the um umbilical cord and she handed me the baby and when I held my baby my baby took its last breath in my hand and when I asked um I was like you know do you know what the baby was and they know no but we can do a blood test and stuff so I was like okay cool and I was like well can I spend time with my baby for a little while and they were like sure so she went and um you know gave me this nice beautiful little cotton thing I had my perfect pair my perfect pair my baby boy and my baby girl but um she didn't make it she didn't make it she was too young so so you know be able to like breathe on machines and stuff like that but um God had his reasons why. And I have an angel. I'm happy to know that I went for like far in my pregnancy. And maybe if I didn't have the UTI, they said that, you know, the UTI was really bad and it got into my uterus and it put me into preterm labor, which caused my water to break at an early time, at an early stage. Um... She was born on 6-28-2018 at 3.50 in the morning, and her name was Sanaili. So there's a little piece of my story that I wanted to share with you guys. I thought it was so necessary and important, too, because so many people in this world go through this. So many women in this world face this situation, and nobody sometimes, everybody keeps it bottled in. And don't understand what we've been through and how damaging it can cause us to be. It's okay to speak about it. There are so many women in this world that struggle with infertility. You would have never known. So guys, that's the end of my story. Um, I love you guys. I'm going to wrap this up. Peace, love, and so say bye bye SJ. Bye SJ. No, say bye bye guys. Bye guys. <laughs> bye guys. Bye.